What's happening everyone, Max here. I'm a communication skills coach. And what I do on this channel is I look at all different types of people's communication skills and I give you my thoughts. We're back for another F1 reaction. I'm going to be checking out Lewis Hamilton's communication skills today. He's actually like the one driver that I'd heard of in the past, but I've never really heard him speak before. So this will be a very first reaction. Lewis Hamilton, let's go. As man, I just be like, hey, United. <laughs> be going around to people with a sword. Which one do I press? Hey, I'm Lewis Hamilton, and today we're gonna look through some moments in my life. I mean, you could already tell right away he's kind of got a smoothness about him. Racing against uh, adults. I was the youngest there by probably like 10 years. All the other, you know, at least 10 years, maybe probably more. And this is Blue Peter. This is a like a kid's channel in the UK. I remember being super nervous. He's definitely got a charisma about him. He's soft-spoken, but he's present. When he's looking at the producer or the camera, he's really like focused in on you and looking at you. And I think when people seem to be present with you, there's a certain type of charisma to that. We're drawn to that. So I can see a lot of people finding Lewis captivating and charismatic in that way. Parents telling there's no way you're gonna be a racing driver. You, you ain't got what it takes. Uh, teachers telling me that there's, you're never gonna be good at anything. When I look back now, I think, wow, those, those, parent, those teachers must have been going through a lot to have projected that onto a, a young kid. Even after all of his success, just him kind of talking about that story being one of the, the stories that he drew to and going to the teachers back in his childhood and how they didn't believe in him. You're never gonna be good at anything. To me, that's someone who kind of carries himself with a little bit of a chip on their shoulder. I don't know for sure, but that's sort of the vibe I get right off the bat. He was a very tough father and he found it generally quite difficult, I would say, to show affection, right? Because he had to be the strong the strong one. And, and at the time, probably was like any, any vulnerability is weakness, you know? So yeah, damn, I needed a hug from my dad so bad, so I, I- Cool to hear him open up and get vulnerable. I talk about this on this channel all the time, the strength and vulnerability and how it can impact our communication skills in a really positive way. It's easier for audiences to connect with people when they can get a little bit more vulnerable. Damn, I needed a hug from my dad so bad. This makes me like him more. It really does. And perhaps a lot of the comments about Lewis coming across as a little inauthentic and what I recognize at the beginning is maybe smooth and maybe part of that chip on his shoulder that I'm detecting is, is just sort of that feeling embedded in him of wanting that validation from the audience. So maybe that, that stems from his relationship in part with his father. When you have something as incredible as a sir in front of your name, it mm -hmm. just things are different when you walk in the room. When I had signed in to... See, there's an example of like, <laughs> of Lewis like maybe trying to be humble with that little smile at the end there. Things are different when you have a sir in front of your name. Things are different when you walk in the room. But listen, the guy is killing it. Like there, you're going to have haters when you get to a level of success like Lewis has. There's no question about it. So, you know, what's he supposed to say? He got knighted, that's pretty damn cool. So I guess, how is he supposed to respond? Arriving at the racetrack, I decided I'd been going to fashion uh, events, a world that I love and felt very uh, included in. I was like, I want to create my own kind of runway. If basically, when I arrive at track, I want to arrive in meaning business. This is me and my dog, Roscoe. I've always been a daring person, so I've always loved to use color. Went through a school where you you had to wear uh, the same thing as everyone else, which I generally hated when I was a kid. He's not afraid to talk highly about himself. I think that's a big part of his communication style too. You hear him throughout this interview too, like subtly kind of complimenting himself there. I've always been a daring person. I've always been a daring person. I can see why people might be turned off by him in that way because he's sort of like being unsolicited about bringing positive attention to himself. From a communication perspective, when someone is unsolicited about their successes, an audience's guard can come up. Let people be sold on you as opposed to you trying to sell yourself on them. I get the sense that Lewis, you know, he, he's selling himself. You go to the fashion world, it's, it's, it's super eclectic. Lots of people from different True. backgrounds and different styles and everyone just rocking it. So this is the Met Gala, had the privilege of going a few times. Yeah, he's in the scene, eh? He's in the, A. Hey, my Canadian's coming out. 
but he's in that like pop culture scene, isn't he? I want to create a seat at the table for young up and coming youth that perhaps wouldn't normally have a chance to be at an event like this. And all they need is that one opportunity to shine, to have the spotlight on them, to just uplift them a little bit, just to get that head start. I decided to but you know get my own table yeah he, he's a polarizing one isn't he you can't hate on his intent here right what he's trying to do and, and trying to inspire youth it feels like at times he's saying things that are creating a positive image about himself decided to but you know get my own table and when people sense that you're trying to craft and construct this image that's when people's guards go up a bit i feel like with that said He's done so much, right? He really has done so much. You want to bet on him because it feels like he'll do whatever the fuck it takes to succeed in whatever he does. He's definitely got an immense hunger to, to succeed and to win. He kind of reminds me of Tiger Woods a bit in that way. Kind of eyes lighting up. And I think the best thing was then afterwards seeing them really progress and shine. I lived with my mom till I was, I think I was about eight or nine and my dad basically said to my mom, like, look, I can, I'm working as hard as I can. I think I can give our son a better life if you... There are things that we can definitely pick up from Lewis as a communicator. If we want a lesson on how to carry ourselves with confidence in a space, I think if you look at Lewis's posture and the way he's gesturing, the way he's easily making eye contact with the camera and the producer, there's a lot we can learn. Definitely projects himself as a person who is comfortable socially. The two big, big stars, my mom and my stepmom, were more kind of background. That's just how, they're just cool like that. This was a year where I started to bring my mom along the road with me a lot more. I wanted to kind of involve her. I wanted to, to feel included more than ever. It definitely brings a more human side to Lewis when he talks about his mom and his dad. That's when I think I feel most connected to Lewis. There's definitely moments where you're like, yeah, Lewis is a sweetheart. I'm firstly with the only black family there. And then secondly, we're fighting against, uh, in the championship against a kid who had a very, very wealthy family. He's from a very wealthy background and his wheel fell off. I remember that day, me and my dad, we, we drove off singing We Are The Champions. And that was the, one, uh. the first time we had really bonded. See, those stories with his dad, right? Having that validation and that bond with his dad clearly means a lot to Lewis, right? There's moments where he really shows his humanity and his vulnerability in ways. We never sung together, so it was pretty special. So yeah, he, he's an interesting one and I can totally see him being a polarizing figure. So guys, that's my first look at Lewis Hamilton. Let me know if I should check out some other videos. I think I might need to explore his personality more. Let me know what other drivers you think I should check out. If you want to watch my uncut reaction and analysis, I include all of them on my Patreon page. I've included the link in my description below. Other than that, my name is Max. I will catch you soon. Peace.